We see three forms of the same substance when we look at ice, water, and steam. Things like water, carbon dioxide, and mercury are called pure substances. This is because they don't have anything else inside of them. They aren't made of anything else. But what causes water to be able to take on multiple forms like ice and steam? Let's find out. Imagine you have a block of ice. Now, let's put that ice into a frying pan or pot and turn the stove on. What will happen to it? Yes, it will melt and become liquid water. Now, let's keep the stove on. What will happen to the liquid water next? Exactly. It begins to boil, and after boiling, it becomes steam. Now, these are three different substances, but they are all the same thing. They are each the pure substance of water. Ice is just water when it is solid. Steam is just water in its gas state of matter. These are all the exact same thing. But what's the difference? Take a guess. Here's the difference, it is the amount of heat that is added to the substance. You see, adding heat to a pure substance causes something inside the substance called molecules to move differently. Heat is a form of energy. In fact, the official scientific name for heat is thermal energy. When you add energy to something, it now has the power it needs to move. When you take energy away, it slows down and stops moving. Think about an electric car. When you add electricity to the battery, it can move. When you use or take the energy out, it slows down and stops moving. The same happens to molecules. I'll explain what I mean, but first. Who remembers what happens when you add heat to a pure substance? You have 10 seconds to think about it. The answer is, molecules begin to move differently. Now, let's talk about the molecules in a solid such as ice. In a solid, atoms or molecules are closely spaced and may vibrate in position but do not change relative locations. The less heat energy exposed to the solid, the slower the molecules vibrate. Meaning the colder a substance, the less the molecules vibrate. The more heat added, the more vibration occurs. Vibration does not mean that the molecules are moving. They are actually staying in the same place, just bouncing back and forth. Like an electric toothbrush, the bristles bounce back and forth but don't actually move. They just vibrate. Before discussing liquids, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We will be doing videos on each of the new standards. The more likes and subscribers we receive, the more videos we will do. Thank you. Now, back to the video. Liquids are different from solids. In a liquid, the molecules are constantly in contact with others. They are also constantly moving. This is why you can see something spread out if you add something to the water, like food coloring. Liquid molecules are always on the move. The more heat you add, the more the molecules move. This movement becomes easily visible as the liquid approaches its boiling point. This is when the molecules change their behavior once again. In a gas, molecules are widely spaced except when they happen to collide. Gases will naturally spread out infinitely unless contained by something. The more heat you add, the more they want to spread apart. All the changes in the state of matter and the behaviors of matter that occur with variations in temperature or pressure can be described and predicted. This means that after you learn what to look for, you can predict what will happen to something once heat is added. So just put some time into your studying and pay attention in class or re-watch this video. Now let's review with a few questions. Teachers, you can make this video into an ed puzzle or use it as a formative assessment quiz in Google Classroom. The questions are in the description for you to easily copy and paste. 
students, here are the questions. First, what is the scientific name for heat? F. Radiant energy. B. Thermal energy. C. Potential energy. D. Kinetic energy. Second, what state of matter allows molecules to move freely and rarely touch each other? A. Solid. B. Liquid. C. Gas. D. All of the above. Third, in which state of matter do the molecules vibrate but do not move? A. Solid. B. Liquid. C. Gas. D. All of the above. Fourth, in which state of matter do the molecules constantly move and touch? A. Solid. B. Liquid. C. Gas. D. All of the above. Fifth and final, in which state of matter do molecules behave differently when heat is added? A. Solid. B. Liquid. C. Gas. D. All of the above. Thank you for watching. You can watch any of our videos or rewatch this one at any time by going to youtube.com and searching for a C Learning. Make sure the logo on the channel is the same as the one you see on the screen at the end of this video. Goodbye.